Welcome to the Effortless English Show with the world's number one English teacher, A.J. Hoag, where A.J.'s more than 40 million students worldwide finally learn English once and for all without the boring textbooks, classrooms, and grammar drills. Here's A.J. with a quick piece to help you learn to speak fluent English effortlessly. I am A.J. Hoag, the author of Effortless English, Learn to Speak English Like a Native. <laughs> Join my VIP program. You must commit. You know this. Commit to my VIP program. A lot of people doing that now. I don't know if it's because of the summer or why, but anyway, great. Welcome to all the new members. Uh, for the new VIP members, we will do another uh, voice chat, another uh, only VIP members voice chat. Uh, we'll do one soon, and we'll do it at a different time so that different time zones have a chance to, to join. So anyway, uh, speak powerfully, speak fluently, speak English effortlessly when you join, when you commit and don't quit. When you commit to my VIP program at EffortlessEnglishClub.com, EffortlessEnglishClub.com. Welcome. Today we're going to, we'll probably learn a little bit of vocab. I'm not sure. You can practice your listening a little. I'm going to do a little bit of uh, a review of... Cole Robinson's most recent YouTube video. Cole Robinson is the the snake diet coach, he, and he, he has the the uh, the snake diet uh, YouTube channel. So uh, I'll play little pieces of it. You know, I respect his copyright. I'm not going to play the whole thing, but I'll play a couple pieces of it. You can get a feeling for what he's like. And he's very interesting, and his speaking style is. Totally opposite of mine, uh, which is fine. Maybe we'll learn a bit, a bit of vocab from it. Maybe not, but it, it, certainly you can practice your listening with him because he speaks fairly quickly. And uh, his accent, well, not really his accent, but his, uh, you know, he kind of shouts and his, his way of speaking is very different. So it's good to practice with different people sometimes. The other thing is I want to talk about the actual content, the actual subject of his video, because in this video, he gives a very, very, very important tip, something that has helped me. So I'll just go ahead and start now that so, uh, my weight this time doing fasting, I have, uh, it's been much more difficult. The actual fast, not, I don't know, but I'm just not losing the weight so fast like I did before. And, uh, you know, getting a little frustrated and, uh, you know, sometimes you, when you need something, suddenly you find it. You seek and you shall find, I believe is the quote, right? And it's like his video it was the perfect answer, maybe the perfect reminder, something I basically knew already, but it was a good reminder, a strong reminder of what I needed to do and what I was doing wrong during the fasting and why I was having a harder time not losing weight as fast as usual, as quickly as usual. And it's just a, it's a, it's a small little thing, but it makes a big difference, a big, big difference. And we'll talk about it in a minute. It's the important tip. And the title, it says, very important weight loss tip. That's what we're going to discuss today with his video. I've got members only chat right now. I'm going to just talk, review the, I'll show you some of the video we'll, and uh, we'll review it. I'll come back. I'll answer the members comments first. Then I will turn on comments for everybody. So everybody just be patient. You will be able, you'll be able to comment. You'll be able to ask questions, but members first this time. Well, let's go on. Let's just get into it, guys. Let's get to the video. All right, oh, I need to use, use my headphones. Ooh, it's way too big. Okay, let me just get it a little smaller on my screen here. There we go. Shrink it down a little bit. That's good enough, right? Look good? Uh-huh. Something like that. All right. Here we hey, go. Hey, fatty! Behold! The war pig snake diet. This diet is for the fattest of the fat. Okay. okay. The fattest of the fat. <laughs> All 
All right. So he starts off, hey, fatty, which is what he always says in the beginning. A fatty. What is fatty? That's slang, kind of. Um, we use it. It means a fat person. And it's kind of, it's rude. It's a rude word. Don't, if you call someone a fatty, if you say, you're a fatty, you're a fatty. Uh, it's rude, right? It means a fat person, someone who's very fat. Um, but this is his, every video he begins, he says this, hey, fatty. Right. Because his audience are fat people trying to lose weight, mostly. Um, and then he gives the introduction that this what he's going to teach us. He calls it the war pig diet. It's just a funny name. OK. And then he says that this is for the fattest of the fat, meaning this is for people who are really fat. This is or people who are very, very serious about losing weight, because this what he's going to teach here, these three steps, it's the fast as way right his snake diet it's fast anyway but this is the number one fastest way to lose weight using his snake diet all right let's continue for fast fucking weight loss to get the weight off their body so they can fucking move okay for fast fucking weight you'll you'll notice he'll say says the word fuck a lot he he uh he curses a lot uh so he says, uh, for fast fucking weight loss. So again, you, what you have to understand about this, some people actually ask me to teach about the, this, these words, like curse words, shit and fuck and damn. And what do they mean and how do I use them? And, you know, the way I explain it usually is that these words just add strong emotion. That's that's basically it. If, if someone says, you know, he, because they can be positive, it can be negative, and this is what confuses people with these words sometimes. They don't understand, like they think, oh, fuck, it always means bad, it's always negative. No, actually, it's not. Uh, it just, it's a word that adds strong emotion. It makes the emotion of what is said, whatever the whatever's being said, it makes the emotion stronger. So if the person's angry, it makes, it makes them sound more angry. Um, if they're excited, it makes them sound more excited, right? You can say, he's fucking great. That's very positive. You're saying, he's great. He's awesome. He's fantastic, right? You might say this about, I don't know, let's say a soccer player, right? I don't know. Just say, oh, that soccer player is great. No, nah, man, he's fucking awesome, right? What does the fucking mean in that sentence? He's fucking awesome. It's just adding strong emotion. It's kind of rude, okay? So you don't want to use it. If you're trying to be polite or in a formal situation, you don't want to use that. In general, in fact, I recommend that English learners like you, I recommend don't try to use these words. Just understand them. Just understand what they mean when you hear them. But I recommend you don't try to use them yourself because it's actually quite difficult to use them correctly and to sound good when you use these words, right? Because uh, the, the, you know, knowing when to use them and especially know, knowing how to say because it, it's all about, it's uh, you have to say them with the right emotion in the right way, with the right timing. And if you don't, it sounds, it sounds either foolish or strange or whatever. So I recommend you don't, you don't need to use these words, okay? But you need to understand them. And you just understand it's just emotion. So people sometimes get upset and they think, oh, this guy is, you know, oh, he's being so negative. No, he's not. He's just being emotional, okay? Fast fucking weight loss. It means really, really fast weight loss, okay? That's all the fucking means. It just, it's just adding power to what he's saying. That's all. So there's no need to get upset about it. No, it's not negative. People that can barely stand... Okay, so he's saying that he designed this program for people who can barely stand. So these are people who are very, very, very fat. However, as I, I will talk about when I review this, um, I think this is good for anybody who's trying to lose weight quickly and effectively. It's, he's got some very good points in here, and any, I think anyone can use this, even if you're not very fat. I'm obviously not very fat, but um, I still using i just started using this today uh, i guess yesterday i started okay here we go fucking water keep the sodium crank you fat fucking pig okay 
So he likes to insult his audience, okay? This is his way of motivation, okay? Uh, again, this do not be up, some people get upset and they think, oh, he's so mean. No, this is like army, okay? This, you got to think of this as like the army, right? When someone joins, or even better, the Marines, okay? In the United States. When they join the Marines, right? It's very famous that the, you've seen movies, okay? If you've not been in the military, you've seen enough movies, you know right what do they do they take the new guys and then they yell at them constantly and they're they're really mean to them and they insult them why are they doing that why because they're trying to make them tougher and motivate them to stop being so lazy right because when these young men come and join the marines most of them are lazy right they've just been in school they're 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 lazy they're not disciplined they're weak and it's the job of the Marines, right? The, they're called drill instructors. It's, the, it's their job to make these weak, lazy guys strong and tough. And they only have a few weeks. They only have like maybe a couple months to do that. So in a couple months, they have to change these lazy, weak guys into tough, you know, motivated, strong Marines. And so they... They yell and they scream and they're very, 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 very hard and tough. But it works. Right? They have great success doing this. That's why they do it. That's what he's doing. Okay? That's what Cole Robinson is doing because his audience, they're lazy. Okay? That's, wh that's why they're fat. Okay? How do you become fat? How do you become fat? Beca you, be by being lazy. Right? Low discipline. Eating a bunch of bad food and not moving, not exercising. So he has the same approach like an army drill instructor like a marine he's yelling and trying to you know motivate and and uh get his audience very emotional right so he's not soft to them but that's i uh, i that's what they need right that's what they need so that's why he's doing it and i think it's a good i it's it's uh it clearly is effective i'm not super lazy and at least not about fitness but uh uh, but I still like it, you know, like I find him very motivating, you know, because sometimes I'm feeling a little lazy or tired. Oh, uh, and then I watch them like, yeah, you know what? Yeah, enough of this. I'm going to get tough. OK, so the first thing he's talking about is that during the fasting, OK, there's a three parts to his this system. Part number one is you're going to fast, fasting, fasting, fasting. How long? Three to seven days each time. Not just one time, many, many, many times until you're thin. OK, but how long each fast will be three to seven days. If someone's very, very fat, they could do seven days. OK, I mean, really fat, really, really fat. I've seen your pictures on Gab that those of you who are posting on Gab, none of you are very, very fat. So probably most of you, if you want to try this, you would do more like three day fast or even a two day fast, 48 hours, 72 hours. OK, more on the low end. You don't need to do a five day or a seven day fast if you're not super fat like i'll be doing two to three day fast still but he's saying that during the fast he says crank the fucking sodium crank means crank up okay it's a it's like a phrasal verb right two word verb crank up means to turn something up re really high to make it go up high to make it go up a lot uh, I think mostly, usually it came from music, right? Crank up, crank up the volume, right? Make it louder, make it really loud, like in rock and roll, right? You're listening to, let's say you're listening to the radio, your favorite song comes on, your friend says, crank it up, crank it up, right? You guys love this song, you want it really loud. Crank up the music, meaning make it really, really loud. Turn it up very fast, turn it up very high. He says, crank up the sodium. So he's saying, that when you're fasting, you need to be drinking a lot of sodium, salt. You want to be drinking a lot of salt. Get plenty of salt during the fast. Do not drink just plain water. And he says if you crank up, if you really drink a lot of sodium, a lot of salt during the fast, you'll feel much better. It will be much easier. And then you also will be drinking some potassium too. Only one tea, teaspoon of potassium, potassium chloride, okay? So one teaspoon of potassium chloride and then a lot of salt. 
at least one teaspoon of salt also, but you can do even more amounts of salt. The salt can go quite high unless you have some blood pressure problem or something. Uh, you, the salt, you can just drink a lot of salt or when you're eating, you can eat a lot of salt. It's not a big deal. But uh, the potassium, you have to be careful. Don't, not too much potassium. So one teaspoon of potassium per day in, wa in one liter of water. Don't, don't just eat it, okay? Put it in one liter or more of water. Mix it in and then put in, add in some salt to that water also. One teaspoon, two teaspoons. Mix it up and you drink that salty water during your fast. And uh, you can drink, if you drink more water, you can still add some salt. But don't add too much potassium. That's the key. All right, that's point number one. You're fasting, you're fasting. So you fast three days, you eat one meal. Then you fast three days again, you eat one meal. Fast three days again, eat one meal. Fast three days again, eat one meal. Keep going. How long? Until you are thin. Until you reach your goal. All right, so that's point number one of this diet. It's gonna, I'm going to skip ahead a little bit. Okay, now the next part, very important. This is the part that I was doing wrong this time. Last year, when I was fasting and doing this, I did this correctly, mostly correctly. Not quite what he's talking about, but better. And this time I have not, and I, it's a big difference. This point, number two, is very, very, very important. Okay, so let's talk about it. Percent fucking protein, or if not slightly less, don't go higher. Okay, I got examples. I'm gonna show you fucking retards. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you fucking retards. I love this guy. Okay, so um, he's talking about when you eat. You eat one meal, right? You fast three days, eat one meal. What do you eat during the meal? It's actually very important. You want to eat high fat. High fat. This is called ketogenic ketogenic. Why is this important? Because this will, when you're fasting, when you're, after three days, your body will burn fat, right? It, it will be burning fat for energy. There's no sugar in your body anymore, right? You store sugar in your muscles and in your liver, but after a few days, your body uses all of it. It's gone. Your body still needs energy. What, what does it use? It uses your fat. That's what you want. You want your body to be burning your body fat. That's how you lose the weight. So when you eat, you have to be careful. You don't want to suddenly eat sugar or carbs. If you do that, your body will stop burning fat and it will burn that sugar instead. And it will slow down your fat loss. This is the mistake I've been making. When I've been eating after my fast, I'm still eating carbs. and Like a lot of carbs, actually. And uh, this is a big problem. It means that I'm still got... It means I never break my sugar addiction, for one. I have a problem with sugar. Maybe you don't, but I do. A lot of people do. And so I never break the bad habits of eating. So I fast. I'm starting to get better. But then I eat, and I eat a bunch of carbs, even if it's just pasta, bread, stuff like that. And uh, my body stops burning fat. It starts burning carbs and sugar again. I start craving. I start wanting more and more carbs. This is the problem. And so then I start going up and down, up and down, up and down. That's what's been happening to me this time. Don't do that. <laughs> when you eat, zero carbs when you're doing this. Zero car. He says zero to five percent. Let's just make it easy. Zero percent carbs. No pasta. No bread. No fruit. Uh, no vegetables even. Or at least, if you're going to eat some vegetables, they should be like zero sugar vegetables. So that could be the 5% carb. You could eat kale or spinach, which uh, are very, very low carb. Uh, you're not going to get many carbs from spinach, but you're going to get great nutrition. So you could do like greens and things like that if you want to. Maybe some celery. Some things like that would be okay. They're not, they're not sweet. But no sweet vegetables, like no carrots. Carrots are sugary. Beets. Don't eat beets when you're doing this. Beets are also sugary. Yes, they're vegetables, but eh, don't eat those. They've got carbs, okay? So if you're going to eat vegetables during this, you want to eat only super low sugar vegetables like green, dark green vegetables, 
things like that. All right, but the main thing, so the other point he's making here, he says, uh, don't go over 20% protein, you fucking retards. <laughs> okay, don't go over 20% protein. It means you're, th that when you're eating, you also don't want to eat too much protein. There's a reason for this. For a ketogenic diet, the kind of diet this is, if you eat too much protein, your body can actually take the protein, digest it, and make sugar from the protein. It's possible. And this, again, will stop the fat burning, which is not good. So this is not a high-protein diet either. You want to actually keep the protein fairly low also. He's saying 20% or less of your calories should be protein. So some protein, but not too much. Keep the protein down. So where are where are all the calories coming from when you eat one time during between your fasts? Fat. Fat. This is a high fat diet. 80% fat. 80% of the calories you eat are coming from fat. So that's it. 0% carbs. Low protein. Some protein, but not too high. And then basically high fat. So you're thinking, oh, how do I figure this out? Uh, 20%, uh, I don't know. And that's where this is really useful because he just tells you two foods you can eat that are the perfect amount. The perfect amount of fat, the perfect amount of protein, and zero carb. And the two kinds of food he recommends, number one is bacon. Yummy bacon. Bacon, delicious, yummy, incredible bacon. <laughs> when I stopped be being a vegetarian, the first food I ate was scallops because it seemed like it wasn't like really like meat but then the second food i started eating after being a vegetarian was bacon <laughs> and then i ate like i ate huge amounts of bacon for probably a year <laughs> all right let me see and then he says you fat fucking retard so again remember he's insulting his audience for the purpose of motivation okay it's not because he hates his audience he doesn't hate you it's quite the opposite he cares about you. He's trying to help you. But he knows that being soft and being gentle is not helpful. Somebody who's really fat and unhealthy, right? Most people are trying to be so kind to them. Oh, it's okay. Da, da, da. And But they're actually hurting them. These people are killing themselves, right? They need someone to push them hard and yell at them and say, Hey, you stupid idiot. You're killing yourself. Stop eating fatty, right? That's being kind, He's motivating them to be healthier and happier. So remember why he's doing it. So he says, you fat fucking retard. So he's just in... <laughs> and you also have to... You just have to laugh about it because it's it's also... It's kind of funny. He's, he's It's half joking. It's half serious and half joking with him. So he says, a, a, a fat, you understand, fucking, it just adds emotion. Retard is a really stupid person. All right, next, next part. And you're just refeeding on a little thousand calorie meal. 50 grams of protein, no more than that. Okay, this fucking pack of bacon, obviously it's 3,600 fucking calories. You're looking at what, 180 grams of protein. Okay, so he's saying this, you know, fucking, fucking, he's, this fucking package of bacon is 3,600 calories. So you're probably not going to eat the whole package of bacon in one meal. Um, but he's just, he, he's making the point that, um, that this has the perfect amount of protein and fat. So basically... You fast three days and then you eat breakfast and just eat bacon. You can eat as much bacon as you want, but you're only eating one meal. You're just eating breakfast and only bacon. You eat your one bacon meal and then what do you do? You start fasting again for another three days. And then what do you do? You eat one meal, only bacon, and then again. So you just keep going like that. Or the second food he recommends, some people don't want to eat pork, is sausage, beef sausage. This also has the perfect amount of fat and protein. So beef sausages, if you're watching in the video, you can see he's holding them up. They look like big hot dogs. Beef sausages. Some people don't want to eat beef. Maybe for religious reasons, you can eat bacon. Some people don't want to eat bacon, pork, because of religious reasons. You can eat the beef sausage instead. If you're vegan, you're screwed. <laughs> All right. So that's it. And then finally, his last point is always be standing. All right, so I'm going to stop there because, like I said, I don't want to go too much on his copyright. All right, so finally, the, the, so the main point that I want to talk about here 
is that 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 has made a huge difference for me is that when you are it's called refeeding when you eat between fasting when you eat between fasting zero carb zero carb zero carb that's the most important the, the protein part is important too but it's less important the number one thing is zero carb do not eat carbs between your fasts when you're trying to lose weight in general don't eat carbs what's a carb it's a carbohydrate number one is sugar any kind of sugar no no alcohol alcohol also counts as a carb here we're counting it as the sugar no alcohol uh no fruit i know fruit can be healthy but not when you're trying to lose weight eat the fruit when, when after you're thin uh so no fruit no pasta no bread no rice, basically no grains, no potatoes, no sweet potatoes. These are all carbs, high carb foods. None of it. None, none. Don't eat any of that stuff. No, 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 no. Cut all carbs. Cut them out completely. Okay, this is just when you're trying to lose the fat. Later, when you're nice and thin and healthy again, you're where you want to be. Then, of course, uh, you can add some carbs back again, depending how much you exercise. The more you exercise, the more carbs you can eat because you'll, you'll burn them. Uh, if you just sit around doing nothing all day, working in an office, then keep your carbs really, really low, even after you're thin. If you go to the gym a lot and you're running and all, doing all kinds of exercise, you can do a lot more carbs. That's the key thing about carbs. But that's just when you're thin, when you're trying to lose weight, when you're fat, Zero carbs, zero carbs, zero carbs. And then the other part that he mentioned quite well also is to keep the protein fairly low. I also did, I last time I was eating higher protein last year, it's still, I still lost weight very fast last year, even with higher protein. But this year I'm going to follow what he said. And uh, like it's like today, I've just been eating bacon and sausage. So what I like to do is I like to f do one day before I start fasting, I'll do one day zero carb. That's today for me. Maybe even tomorrow. We'll see. One or two days zero carb. That gets my body burning fat, but I can still eat. <laughs> it's a little easier. Then I start fasting, and then the fasting's much easier because my body's already burning fat, and then I just stop eating and drink salty water. All right, let's get into comments and questions. That's the key thing, guys. You must cut the carbs down to zero. Zero carbs, zero carbs, zero carbs. You're trying to lose fat this will help you so much it will destroy it will get rid of it will finish it will end any kind of sugar addiction you have uh it's really good all right here we go so let's answer some questions vladislav good to see you the main tip weight loss is fasting well the way the main tip is fasting and zero carb when you do eat that's actually the main tip that I'm talking about today. Fasting, we've talked about a lot, but the zero carb part is really important. Okay, Vladislav says, the day before yesterday, I saw an English teacher from my school. She didn't teach me, but we know each other. She told me she didn't even know the meaning of fast as not to eat. So uh, It's less common, right? Fast, everyone knows fast means quick. But um, yeah, a lot of people don't know that fast means... Uh, too fast as a verb can mean to, to not eat. Flat up says, hey, fatty. Yes, I love it. Huh? Huh. All right. Did he serve in the military, Cole Robinson? I don't think so. No. I think he was a stockbroker, actually. We traded stocks, so kind of that high energy thing. <laughs> Vladislav says, my dad says in the USA, they teach you driving by yelling at you a lot. So you get used to tough situations. Is it true? Uh, I don't think so. Most people learn to drive from their fathers. So it just depends on the dad. My dad didn't yell a lot when I was. No, he was okay. And I took a driver's education course in school. They definitely did not yell a lot at all. So that was not, I don't know. It probably, it depends. 
It's, it's very individual. No, I would not say that's a general thing in America. Uh, Marjan says, I like, uh, hi, Jay and everyone. I like Cole's style. He's great. I agree. I like him. Yeah, like Vladislav says again, the paradox, meaning it seems like it's, it doesn't make sense, but actually it does. The paradox is in order to lose fat, you have to eat fat, right? And avoid sugar and avoid carbs. If you eat a lot of fat and you eat carbs, that's like, that's the worst thing possible. But uh, if you cut the carbs completely, they're going to be great. Marjan says, can you imagine yourself shouting at us to learn English like him? Yeah, all right. I should do, I should do that, you know. Hey, you fucking assholes. <laughs> Listen to English. <laughs> Just not my style, guys. I'm a southerner. I'm laid back. What can I say? But I I I find it funny. I don't I'm not offended by him at all. Like Vladislav said, it's not his style. Yeah, it just doesn't fit my style. Yeah, Vladislav says, okay, so, no, no, show, sorry. Vladislav says, uh, you can try this in English. Throw those fucking textbooks, burn them fucking out. This is a better approach. Try that. <laughs> it would be fun. So it's more, yeah. Yep, it would be funny, but it doesn't fit me. So it, it would sound probably strange if I try to do it. This is the thing. Um, this is the other thing. Um. I said, you know, that non-native speak, people learning English, I recommend don't try to use this language. The fucking shit, fuck, fuck, fuck. Because it, it sounds very, it sounds unnatural, it sounds strange. But this is also even true, um, this is true even with native speakers. So someone like me, like I do cuss, I, I, I'm not like some Puritan, I cuss when I get upset. But, um, but I don't know, like that kind of style of yelling and cussing and motherfucking yeah, it 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 would sound weird with me. I, it, it would uh, it wouldn't sound natural, right? Like if I'm just upset, I'll say fuck, you know, ah, like I hurt myself or something. I kick my, I kick a wall with my and I hurt my foot. I might say fuck, you know, goddamn shit, fuck, 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 you know. <laughs> but uh, in normal conversation, I don't use it much at all, uh, not in that way. So uh, yeah, you get the idea. Is, is don't force it. Some I know it's, it's usually young people who kind of think it's funny to learn curse words and, and use them in English, but it just it usually sounds pretty silly. For it doesn't sound very good. <laughs> A lot of self said I learned to drive from my father. He criticized every mistake. It seems so much. He tells my mom he wants me to be a great driver. My mom tells me I drive better without dad. Yeah, he's creating stress, which is distracting you. <laughs> the key thing with driving is just to be alert, to be constantly looking and alert. That's the main thing. Be aware, not really focus on yourself as much as you're focused on outward about what's happening because it's there's just things happening so fast. Ilana Khan, good to see you says hey sarah good to see you too you see fun uh carbs are a fake source for short-term energy especially when the person is tired do you have any suggestions for a better source to refill our strength that is well said this is the trap that even when i like why i'll start eating carbs sometimes i'll be feeling down tired and i'll you know that i'll eat some sugary and then it's just the addiction starts it's terrible uh but once i break it i'm fine uh, what's better is fat. So yeah, actually, if you want a better source, I would say coconut oil. Coconut oil. You can even get something called MCT oil. They make it from coconut oil, which is uh, it's a kind of fat that your body can digest quickly. So it's a kind of fat that your body can use for energy uh, fairly quickly. But it, it's not like sugar where you won't, your sugar won't go up and your energy will be, it'll be more long-term steady energy. So that's what I would recommend. Uh, coconut oil is the easier one to find, but you can also try MCT, the letters, MCT. I can't remember what it stands for. Mon, mon, I don't remember. Um, but anyway, monotriglyceride, maybe. Uh, anyway, uh, MCT oil or the easier one is coconut oil. Some people, there's something called bulletproof coffee. You can look it up online. 
uh, do a search for bulletproof coffee. And it's this guy, and this is what he drinks in the morning for like uh, a lot of energy, uh, for, for like all, all day energy or at least half the day energy. So he makes coffee and then he adds coconut oil. And then I think he adds a little bit of butter, <laughs> uh, to his coffee and then he blends it and drinks that. He calls it bulletproof coffee. And of course, the caffeine in the coffee brings up your energy quickly. But then that fat, the coconut oil, and then the butter too, gives you that longer term, slow, steady energy for the day. You might try that. I've done that in the past. It actually does work. And he says he think he could be a leader of a protest. Yeah, he could be a military. Who knows? Cole Robinson's very good at casual English, says Vladislav. Yes, he's Canadian, so he's a native speaker. I'm not going to change. Don't worry, guys. I'm not going to start cussing at you all the time. Zobade says, uh, oh, sorry, why, I keep, sorry, Zobade, I keep, Twitter keeps automatically censoring your some of your comments and I got to click a button sometimes I click the wrong one and it gets deleted sorry about that but this is stupid YouTube and their censorship uh anyway he was just joking saying AJ I'm fucking I'm early I missed half the fucking channel <laughs> okay great here's Paulica says I lost four kilograms for in two weeks using a kind of keto diet I ate salmon Super healthy. It's one of my favorite foods. Eggs, super healthy, great food. And healthy fats from olives and avocados. Highly recommend this way. That is a great, look at, now this is fantastic. It's a little higher in the protein than what Cole's talking about. But like I said, in my, in my experience, the protein part is much less important. It's not a big deal uh, so much. Uh, so this is just great. So salmon is a fatty kind of fish. So it, it has really good fats, though, um, and a, a great source of, of just nutrition and protein. Eggs, same thing. Great protein and, again, really good fats and uh, nutrition in those yolks, the yellow parts especially. And then these, these are really healthy fats, olive, olive oil, avocados, avocado oil. I mean, that's... That's just about perfect. Uh, and that really is perfect. Um, and see, this is a kind of diet you could eat forever, not just for weight loss. You could just do this kind of food. Once you're thin, you can just keep eating this kind of food for the rest of your life, and it would be very, very healthy. Uh, that's really great, Palika. If you're trying to lose just as fast as possible, especially if you're very fat, then you would just cut the protein down more. Uh, following Cole's advice. But the, the big one is cut the cut out. You'll see there are no carbs in any of this. It's good nutrition and there's no carbs. There are no carbs. Ah, so Sarah says, three day fast is difficult for me. I want to do that. What can I do? Okay, Sarah, so this is what I recommend. Do... Uh, First, do two, let's say we'll do something even easier for you. Three days. Three days, eat zero carb. Do what Cole Robinson just said. So eat sausage and bacon, more or less. Sausage and bacon. And just you can eat three meals a day. Just eat whatever. Eat whenever you're hungry. Three days, but only zero carb food. So base, just eat what he said, okay? Just eat. You could eat some nuts, I guess, but... Make it simple. Eat sausages and bacon for three days. After three days of doing that, you'll be it'll you'll be zero carb and fairly low protein. Your body should start burning fat after those three days, but you can still eat. So it's a little easier. So then your body is now ketogenic, meaning your body is burning fat, not sugar. Then start a fast. Then do the fast and do a three day fast. See if it's easier. The second thing I would say, Sarah, the second um, piece of advice is um, you try that. If it's still difficult, just do two-day fasts. I did two-day fasts. Like last year when I was really fasting a lot and lost a bunch of weight quickly, I, uh, 
I did 48 hour fasts. That's also fine. You don't have to do three days. Two days fasts are also totally fine. Um, so you could just switch and just, just do 48 hour fast instead. Well, Osma says I was fasting eight days plus today. I'll continue. It'll be 10 after that. I'll weigh myself. Very good. Very good. You, if you've got a lot of weight to lose, you can go longer like that. You don't need to go too long though. You don't need to go like super, super, super long. I have just one rule to lose fat, eat less than you did the day before. Well, you could do that. You would eventually be fasting. <laughs> but uh, you could do that very slow introduction if you like. Um, Osama says, These, those carbs are making us lazy and weak. If we abstain from them, we'll have more energy, we'll lose fat, and have a great, healthy life. Indeed. Abstain from them while you're losing weight. After that, you want to go healthy carbs. So once you're, once you're, you know, the, once you have a good weight, you're happy. You're not trying to lose weight anymore. You want to add some carbs because uh, you need a little bit of that energy for maybe you do lift weights or you, you do some kind of other uh, exercise. Then just healthy carbs, meaning again, avoid sugar, eat like sweet potatoes, potatoes. Those are really good, actually, those two. Maybe some rice with, uh, but especially vegetables. That's when you add back carrots and things like that, that maybe are higher in sugar, but, but they still have a lot of fiber so that your blood sugar doesn't go up so fast. So you, that's when you increase a lot, especially veggies, uh, or sweet potatoes, potatoes. That, those are the healthier kinds of carbs. Bread, pasta, anything processed like that. The more processed it is, the worse it is. Yeah, Merrick says, I'm a soldier. I know such dirty language. Thanks to this, sometimes it's easier to get young soldiers. Get two young soldiers. Right. They sometimes, you know, in English we say they need a kick in the ass. Right? <laughs> sometimes we say it about ourselves. I just need a kick in the ass. Your butt, right? It means you need sometimes for motivation. Uh, it's nice to hear positive words. It's nice to hear Tony Robbins saying something inspiring you and very. Sometimes it's good to hear someone speaking very in a kind way that helps to motivate us. But sometimes, especially when we're lazy and we're being really weak, sometimes we need someone to kick us in the ass. Meaning we need just someone to yell and say, "Stop being lazy, you fat pig! Stop eating!" Right. You just need or in the army, you know, get off your butt and move, move, soldier, you know, get up. Stop crying. Right. Sometimes we need that. Right. Sometimes we need to be tough and we need someone to be strong. And it's still it's still kindness. It's still love. It's still uh, it's still leadership. It's just knowing when. Right. It's knowing when to do it. Sometimes we need that and sometimes we don't need that. Sometimes that's the wrong thing to do. It depends on the situation. And depends on the person too. But with fat people, they need they need to be kicked in the butt. They don't need people saying, "Oh, it's okay. It doesn't work." Right? They're lazy. That's why they're fat. So some Cole's approach is really good. It's the same in the military, right? The new the new guys, especially, and sometimes they, maybe in general, some of the young guys. But the new guys, they're lazy. They're weak. They're not soldiers yet. They need to be kicked in the ass again and again <laughs> to toughen them up. You know, we all need this. And we all know if it's for a good reason, I think we usually appreciate it. We respect it. Some, and I think a lot of people even want it. They want it. That's, I mean, people watch Colt. He's, they pay him. They give him lots of membership fees and uh, just YouTube memberships. And they give him super chats. And they watch. No one forces anybody to watch, his, uh, watch Cole's videos. So why are they watching him? It's the same reason I watch him. I want that kick in the butt, right? I want that strong motivation on this topic. Yeah, Mustafa says, I lost 24 kilograms, 52 pounds, last year by cutting carbs and eating just fat and protein and walking. Another great formula right there. So cut out the carbs. That's the big thing. 
Uh, he, he didn't even fast. He just ate lots of fat, ate lots of fat, some protein, and then walking. You don't have to. You can do more exercise if you want, but walking is great. How can I be a fatty? Eat lots of sugar. I don't know why you'd want to be fat. <laughs> Build muscle if you want to gain weight. I, I mean, I understand, uh, especially lots of young men. Uh, want to gain weight they're maybe very very skinny but why do they why do they think they look bad or something but it's just because they're they don't have muscle it's not the fat if you get fat you look terrible and then you feel terrible you're carrying a bunch of extra fat you'll be really you feel more tired being fat is not good so if you want to gain weight gain muscle gain muscle right you're gonna have to work out lift weights or do gymnastics type stuff Okay, I'm going to kind of jump down and come backwards. Oh, Vladislav says in the Russian army, it's still compulsory for guys, right? Some guys become worse in the army. Yeah, some guys are, you know, can't quite take it. That's, that is the weak point, um, is that some guys can't take that kind of, toughness they're they're not they're too sensitive they're they're you know too soft whatever you want to call it and they can't handle it right and there's a limit we all have limits um like i've seen videos about how the navy seals train there's no way i could do it i'd be gone in a day <laughs> so uh um yeah i i get it we there are limits and, and different there are different types of people not everybody's meant to be a soldier right not everybody has that. Uh, some people are meant to be, uh, I don't know, accountants or other things. You know, in the old, old days, they kind of, people would be farmers or they would be, uh, you know, like a priest, something in the in religion, in the church. Uh, I'm talking about Europe. Uh, or they might be soldiers, right? So it depended on their, what they were good at, their, their what kind of person they were. Yeah, Hadi says, um, fasting is the most effective way to lose weight. However, there's no point fasting without changing bad habits towards food. Exactly right. That's, that's what I was, that's the mistake I was making this time. I was fasting, but, I, but then when I ate, I was just eating, I was continuing bad habits. And then it was, became hard to fast. So then I would wait and I wouldn't fast for several days instead of just doing it immediately again. Right. That's exactly right. So that's, again, why cutting the carbs. The reason that when you cut the carbs, it's not just about the carbs. When you cut that sugar out, it like resets your mind too, not just your body. And you gain control over your food again so that you don't just like eat uncontrolled. Like if you really like me, I really like sweet stuff and sugary stuff. And if I start eating it, then I want more. And then eventually it just becomes a bad habit. And I'm doing it every day. How do I break that? I cut all the carbs down to zero. And I do that for a while. And then like I kind of regain control. Like the, the, that does a strong desire for the sugary stuff goes away. Then I can go back to eating healthy. And then I'll start eating the healthy carbs again. And it's fine. So it's, it's a great way to reset yourself mentally too. Any kind of addiction. I would, you know anything fat like if you're an alcoholic fasting would definitely be good anis with also exactly this is a point cole made at the end of the video anis i didn't talk about it but anis says i recommend that you also do some exercise at least one hour of walking while fasting You'll see a difference and lose weight faster. Yeah, I'd recommend even more than that. Again, if you're trying for maximum weight loss, it's more fun if it's fast. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a lot more enjoyable and it's more motivating if you see it happening quickly. So, uh, yeah, walking is all you really need to do, but you should do it at least one hour a day, but I'd say more if you can two hours a day and then try and then the rest of the day try to be active try to stand up 
more instead of just instead of sitting in a chair try to stand up more try to just move around and just be active moving your body standing moving all day long most of the day if you can and walk as much as possible that's during your fast also Yeah, yeah, Paulika, with very good advice about olive oil. You can drizzle your salad with olive, olive oil. Nice word. Drizzle is kind of like pouring something, but just a little bit, like very slowly, small amount. You're pouring the olive oil on your salad. Uh, it's a great source of healthy fat. Exactly. But do not fry olive oil. Right. Don't fry olive oil. Don't, don't do high heat cooking with olive oil. It destroys all the good nutrition. Uh, it's a good point. Uh, ghee. I like ghee. It's an Indian. Uh, it's, cl it's called clarified butter. It's kind of butter they use in India in Indian cooking. Ghee. G H E E. G H E E. I love it, and that's what I cook with. You can cook with coconut oil. Also, is a good one for cooking, like frying, high heat, or just butter. Butter's good too. Asma says, any recommendation to replace bacon? Yes, sausage, beef sausage. That was the other one. Beef sausages. Just buy a packet, you know, like buy a bunch of them. So I know some of you uh, Muslims don't eat pork, so just eat beef sausage instead. Cole, that, Cole, it was in the video. Cole talked about that too. So in some of you, Sanatana Dharmis, probably don't uh, eat beef, and so you can eat the bacon. If you're vegetarian, I don't know. It's hard to do vegetarian, guys. I guess with vegetarian, you could do avocados, nuts, coconut oil, that, olive. That might do it. That might do it for veggies. All right. Okay, Mauricio Viana says, a month ago, you gave me encouragement, encouraging advice about fasting. Finally, last week, I decided to start. I'm doing 12 for 12 hours. Got it? Had excellent results last week. Thanks for the support. Nice. This is called, inter anything less than 24 hours is called intermittent fasting intermittent there's a kind of a difficult word to say intermittent which means occasional um so like you fast for 12 hours and then the other 12 hours you can eat normally how you want to uh you could fast for 16 hours every day and then eat during the rest of the time it's people do it in different ways 12 for 12 that's fine uh and some people have very good results just from doing that especially if you're active people who are active and walking and moving uh don't you know and who are already fairly thin they don't need the long long fast so much yeah like uh, uh, asba says why do they keep why are they hiding these youtube and the censorship asba says a, a cold environment burns white fat cold uh yeah, cold uh, in general. If you if you get your body cold, you'll burn more fat. That's true, because your body has to then burn the fat for to make energy to keep you warm. Like some people will s take cold showers, like long cold showers, or just swim in a cold pool or a cold lake, even or uh, the ocean. Um, like actually, you know, this is funny because this is something interesting. I've noticed this. Um, I used to scuba dive. Uh, I used to go scuba diving a lot. My wife and I. And uh, we noticed that most most of the scuba guides, the guides and the instructors, super thin, like, you know, like, you know, you can see their abs and I would watch them eat. They they didn't they they all just ate normally. They ate a lot of food they, they none of them seemed to uh, have any special diet or something. And uh, and scuba diving is not a difficult physically. It's it's pretty I mean, that. 
it's, it's quite the opposite. It's quite relaxing. You're not trying, you're trying not to use a lot of energy when you scuba dive. So I was thinking, how, how can they be so thin? And then I realized, oh, that's what it is. It's the cold. They're in that cold water every single day. They're guiding people and they're in cold water for several hours a day because it's, it's cold, even in the tropical areas. Uh, once you go down in the water, you know, it's colder than your body. So it's, it's chilly, you know, and unless it's, unless you're really right at the top and it's super, super, super warm. When you get a little bit lower, it's almost always just a little bit cold. And those guys, the instructors, usually they don't wear wetsuits very much, uh, not in warm water. So their bodies are burning a huge amount of energy to stay warm. It's the cold water because water will suck out the heat very fast. Uh, I, I would always get cold scuba diving, even in tropical water. Interest. So that is something you can do. You can get into cold water. An easy way to do that would, if you have a pool or if you live near the ocean, just get out and uh, get in the water, especially if it's a little cold or a little cool, and uh, stay in as long as you can. Just swim. It's it'll you'll burn extra calories because of the the cooler water. And of course, the swimming will also burn uh, calories also. Awesome. Fatih Ras says, I have my own experience. I lost 12 kilograms by fasting uh, for a long time, about 12 and 16 hours. Okay, doing 12 and 16 hour fasts. So maybe like eating only during an eight hour part of the day. Nice. Yes, guys, I know about the fake. Uh, we, we're all doing this. We're, I'm working on the legal part. Thank you. I appreciate it. Cool. And he says, um, most Muslims will fast after two days on Thursday. It's a very important day in this religion. Well, happy fasting. Enjoy your fast, guys. Good. That's very good. Very, very good. Many benefits, not just weight loss. Hey, fatty. Ah, uh, yeah. No, Dutulo uh, says researchers found fasting may slow aging, but it's an animal studies. They haven't found it with humans yet. Yeah, researchers, you know, they can't even reproduce most things, so who knows? But it's just try fasting. You'll you'll figure out that it's good for you. Snake or snack diet is the snake diet, like the animal, not the snack diet. <laughs> that would be the opposite. <laughs> snake. Uh, Asba says some nutritionists recommend adding one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar to salad. Yes, it's yummy and it's very healthy and also basically no sugar, zero carb. So yes, vinegar and oil is a good salad dressing. Olive oil, you can mix olive oil and apple cider vinegar, shake them up and pour that on a salad. Nice. It's good. Add a little soy sauce if you want some salt. So yeah, Vanya, it's snake like the animal. That's an important difference. Yeah, Hermogenes says, I've done the snake diet since the first time you mentioned, talked about it. Now I'm fit. Very good. Very good. All right, I've got time for a couple more since I've been gone for a while. I mean, I'm just I'm just taking a, probably about a month, guys, where I'm just relaxed. I'm going to do uh, just do shows now and then, and then I'll get back to regular shows again. So thanks for your patience. Just a little summer, being late, a little little relaxation little not quite a full break but just kind of a partial break this summer just a few weeks i'll be doing maybe just a couple shows a week we'll see yeah the title of the video is snake snake like the animal all right let's see if there's any more 
Oh, yeah. And then Paulika with great advice again. Paulika's got a lot of good advice. But he's gotten good results. If you want to boost your metabolism, I recommend drinking matcha. Important. Matcha green tea genuinely works for me. Yeah, matcha green tea. Matcha is super strong. Okay, it's different than uh, a lot of people when they think of green tea and in, in most of the world, people think green tea. What they're thinking of is in Japanese is called sencha. It's kind of a yellowy, light green color. Uh, like Tha And they drink it in Thailand. They drink it in a lot of places, uh, in America, all over. But matcha green tea, real matcha green tea, is dark, 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 dark green. Very, very dark green. It's this powder. You just use like a little, this little tiny spoon. You mix it with water. Hot water, of course, but you just like with a spoon, you mix it. And it is super, you know, the super, 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 super dark green. And it's very, very bitter and uh, very strong, high, you know, strong caffeine, strong everything. Uh, very, very healthy. Lots and lots of health benefits. Um, but it's it's more like coffee in, in this, in, in, meaning it's power, it's strength. It's very strong, strong in taste. And the effect is strong, too. That's that's matcha green tea, and uh, yeah, it is. It's quite powerful. Even coffee, probably black coffee. If you did black coffee during your f fasting, it would. You know, Cole Robinson recommends not doing that, but it would boost your energy a bit. Aruna says, "I do yoga every day. Will it affect my muscle growth? I want to add muscle." Um, so you, it depends what kind of yoga you're doing. Uh, some kinds of yoga will build muscle, right? Uh, in America, you know, of course, there's the real traditional yoga. You're probably Indian, right, Aruna? So you know more than I do. In America, they have, of course, they've all kinds of American type yoga that's not real, not not the real thing, but they call it power yoga or something. I think uh, what a shtanga is what they're really talking about. From what I understand, Ashtanga yoga, for example, can build some pretty good muscle and some pretty good strength. It won't hurt your muscle if you're worried about that. Uh, even if you're doing a more light type of yoga, what I guess is Hatha yoga. Again, I'm not a yoga expert, but but in America at least, Hatha yoga is kind of more light and more like stretching. It won't hurt your muscle growth. It's, it's, it's perfectly good for you. Uh, but... You probably, if you're doing a light kind of yoga that's more stretching and more light on your muscles, then to gain muscle, you'll have to do something. You'll have to add something to it, lifting weights or doing uh, some serious strength body weight exercises. Um, and you'll have to get enough protein. You'll have to, uh, if you're not, if you're trying to gain muscle, you're not doing, you're not going to follow what Cole Robinson just said. If you're trying to gain muscle, you you absolutely must eat more protein. Ah, oh, cool. I recommend Total Health with Dr. Nick Channel. Yeah, I'm going to check that out. I, you recommended it last time, Palika. I'm going to write it. Dr. Nick YouTube. Dr. Nick. Yeah, this guy looks good. Cool. I'm going to Total Health Solutions with Dr. Nick, right? After the show today, I will check out this guy. Hey, guys. I'm so excited. Looks like he's into keto, which is great. Awesome. Thanks, Palika. I'll check him out. Who knows? Maybe I can interview him. Yeah, I'll check him out. If I like him, I'll, I'll see if I'll try to interview him. Nutra says, can fasting be a uh, long and hard hour, uh, long and hard be damaging for female hormones? Many women have reported losing their period on such a diet. Do you have any information about that? You should contact, you should join uh, Cole Robinson's Facebook group and ask him that specifically. I don't know. I just, I just be honest. I don't know. I can't. I can't give you an answer about that. So he, I'm, I'm sure he could because he works mostly with women, 
I think probably 80% of his customers, clients are women. I have no doubt he's dealt with this before, with this question, and he can give you a great answer. So you could get on one of his live chats and try to ask him, uh, or the easiest thing is you get on his Facebook group, Snake Diet uh, Facebook group, Cole Robinson, follow him, join, and then you can ask that question. He'll answer or someone in his group will answer. So his low carb diet called the snake diet. He, uh, he, it's low carb diet. No, it's with plus fasting. The reason he calls it snake diet is the idea that a snake will eat one time, uh, like a big meal at one time, and then fast for several days, right? No eating for several days. That's why he calls it snake diet. So no, not just low carb. Okay, it's the fasting that's the key part. The most important part of the snake diet is fasting, but when you do eat, you eat low carb. Now again, this is only when you're trying to lose fat. If you're trying to, when you get when you get nice and thin, maybe you want to add muscle, you want more energy, you you're, you want to do more exercise, then you'll change this. Watch his videos because he he talks about other goals. If your goal is to gain muscle, he has videos about that. If your goal is to run marathons, you know you're gonna change. You might change this a bit too but only after you lose the fat. This is just the part about losing the fat. Lose the fat first. Forget everything else. If you're, if you're overweight, lose the fat first, then focus on your other fitness goals. And at that point, you'll adjust and do things a little differently. Okay, about almost time to go, guys. Oh, cool. Aruna, no problem. Good luck to you. People asking me vocab questions. All right, I'll, answer, I'll ask this one. What's the difference between a teacher and a professor? Professor is a job title. A professor is uh, uh, specifically someone who teaches in a university. Teacher is a general word. It's a job title too, but Oh, well, not. It can be very general. A teacher is someone who teaches anything. They might be teaching in a school, but they might be teaching, you know, some other topic. You can have a a cooking teacher. They teach they teach cooking. So the idea is, you know, it's anyone who's teaching about a topic is a teacher. A professor is more specific. It's someone who specifically is employed as a teacher in a university. Usually a PhD, although they usually at least a grad student, grad student level. Prabir is doing a 16 hours slash eight fasting. I feel good. So 16 hours fasting, eight hours eating. Great. Have I tried Kratom? I have not. I'll just answer any random questions now and then it's time to go. Burma coffee is the best. I've never had Burma coffee. I'll try it. I didn't know they grew coffee in Burma. Oh, hey, Sam. Good to see you. Thank you for the nice comment. Appreciate that. Thank you. The most healthy way to gain weight, in your opinion, asked Abdo. Lift weights, heavy, heavy weights. Eat uh, healthy protein and healthy fats. And you will need some carbs. to. You're going to have to do some some hard weight training to gain muscle. Um, that's going to require some carbs for sure. Um, cause you're going to need that, th that loop, the glycogen, you're gonna need the sugar basically in your muscles for that power when you're working out. Um, 
right? But you don't want to go crazy eating a bunch of garbage, right? So you may be eating sweet potato. Get it. From, I would recommend you want to stay fairly healthy. So get it from carbohydrates. Get your carbohydrates from things like potatoes and sweet potatoes and things like that. Um, and but most of all, you got to eat a lot of protein and you got to really work your muscles and then you got to rest them. I can't be more specific than that. I'm not a bodybuilder. I'm obviously not a strength athlete. You can look at me and see that. So I recommend there's a book called Starting Strength by Mark Ripito. It's a good place to start for building strength and muscle. If you prefer body weight, there's there are also some good channels out there. Oh, Amani says, my doctor, my mom has breast cancer. I'm sorry to hear that. The doctor recommended that she, for, for her to fast. Good. Fasting, uh, the things that I think of offhand will be fasting and high, 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 super high vitamin C every single day. I mean, super, super, super high. You have to do some research about this. Maybe research vitamin D and K2 also and... There, you know, they do some research about other stuff. I mean, I, but good luck. Schwann, what's the best way to control kids in the classroom as a teacher? Tools for, God, why do I always get this wrong? Tools for teaching. <sighs> One second. Was it tools for teaching or teachers? Yeah, tools for teaching. Oh, wait, no, 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 Fred Jones. Yeah, Tools for Teaching by Fred Jones. Get that book. Fred Jones, Fred Jones. Tools for Teaching. I'll show you what the book looks like. I'll put it on the screen if you're watching on video. Any teachers out there, you can maybe see it here, right? See that right there? That's the screen. Tools for Teaching is the very best book I know on for teachers about classroom discipline. It's really good. Really, really good. Tools for Teaching. Ah, cool. Vladislav says, my cousin is doing 16-8 fasting now. Nice. All right. I think we're done. Yeah, someone's asking about paying for my course with an iTunes card. Then I have to go through Apple. I, yeah, it doesn't work. I, I, I'm not going to put my Apple's. A, I don't like them. I'm not going to I'm not going to connect my business to Apple. Then they take a percentage of my business. It's they're a bunch of left-wing marxist, no thanks. Uh, Gustavo says, is protein loss a concern during long fasting? Actually, no, it's not. Uh, protein, I guess you're meaning muscle loss. No. It is a concern. It's a big concern if you just cut your calories. So you keep eating little bits, you know, but you're not getting enough food. Uh, that can be quite serious because then you're, it can be a problem. But fasting, because of it, you know, again, watch his channels and experiment yourself. But uh, overall, the answer is no. You don't have to worry about it. You're not going to lose uh, muscle when you're fat. That's why another reason that fasting is such a great way to lose weight, to lose fat, because you don't you lose the fat, you don't lose muscle. You don't want to lose muscle, obviously, right? So fasting, 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 fasting is a much much better way to when you fast, your body will keep will hold on to your muscle and will burn the fat instead. So it's. Yeah, that's important. All right, guys. 
that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this. We'll, t we'll check in about our challenge again, see how everybody's doing, how many kilograms everybody's lost. I'll give you an update. We will start a new book club pretty soon. As you know, I chose the topic. It's Charisma on Command is the name of the book. Charisma on Command by Charlie Hoopert, Hoople, something like that. Uh, Charisma on Command, anyway. That'll be our next book club. So go ahead, get that book. And they have a video. He and his friend have a YouTube channel, too. So you could check out their uh, YouTube channel. Charisma on Command, where they give kind of free tips, free suggestions about, you know, having more charisma, being more a more likable person. Righto. Lots of love to you all. Join my VAP program as always, EffortlessEnglishClub.com. Until then, see you next time.